Hi, it's Charlie giving you Friday's live trading. Well, hopefully, it's actually 20 to 12. I've been in a live trade, but I've actually, it was, a, we were 11 minutes in and then it got, it stopped me while I was out down the gym. And so I've just got back. And um, so I thought, well, um, 11 minutes in for, uh, on this live trade, a 55 pounds gain, um, then I don't think I want to put you through that. So, but I do see the potential of another trade coming up. So, that's why I've just started this again. So I'll go through that trade with you. But also, I just want to go through an email that I just had through, I think it was on Wednesday, uh, from one of my um, uh, uh, traders who I've, I personally coach. And um, I just thought it, it, at this time of year, when everyone's looking out, you know, they're looking back on how they've traded throughout the year or how they're looking to trade next year, um, I just thought some of the words that he'd put down were, were probably quite relevant to a lot of traders. So I just um, cut, uh, top and tailed it a little bit. I've uh, just taken his email address off, basically. Um, so anyway, so that's the first line, just um, something there and encouragement and all that. Anyway, he, says, he goes on to say, you know, I've never been um, in the black in any of my four trading accounts. This guy's been trading for a good few years, on and off, but he's been trading and he's never had a single winning month up until um, starting the training with me. And um, so he was saying about he'd never had, had been in the black ever before. He said these last ten weeks of live trading have been a roller coaster ride. Yes, month one was up and down, but I ended in a, in a very positive position. Then I was overconfident, and I always talk about this. I talk about this on the over, on the video updates as well. He got a bit overconfident. He was so jubilant that he had just had his first ever winning whole month that he got a bit uh, overzealous and um, ended up losing all of his gains plus some more. So by the end of the month, he's saying end, end of month two should I say he said he, he felt he was looking bleak um, he wasn't exactly down by much but to, in his words he, he was um, he was looking bleak he said but I talked him through it and explained how um, how his emotions would be and what he needed to do so weeks five to nine what he was saying were hard but um, da, 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 um, I've now managed to claw my way back to such a point that at present my account is at its highest point it's ever been in the last 10 weeks. He said, I know I shouldn't focus on the bottom line, but once in every while, um, I think it's important to pat yourself on the back, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, now need, I, now, I know I need to now... Um, my need now is to remain disciplined and not to do what I did in week five. Um, this outlook has only cemented itself in my brain because of, all right, fair enough. Suffice to say, I'm quite pleased with where I am, etc., um, etc. Et Still saying he's got a long way to go, but I simply want to say, okay, thanks, uh, and give me this self-belief. He said, not that you have that in other walks of life, but a lot of people um, struggle with belief when it comes to trading. And he said, and it's helping me to improve my... Um, to prove to myself that possibly I may have the right mentality to succeed at, at whatever level his level is going to be. So um, I just thought it was a really nice email that came in from um, in from Mike, and I thought that it probably applied to a lot of people who sometimes go through a bit of a roller coaster, but. But essentially, it's just a case of maintaining that discipline, not allowing yourself to get overconfident after a good winning streak um, where you can then just overtrade and, and give it all back like Mike did there. So uh, I thought that was um, a worthwhile going through with you. But it was a nice email nevertheless, and it's nice to see um, obviously customers doing well. And he's only just one, obviously, um, that, um, that I've cherry-picked there just because his email came through the other day. Right, okay, so what did I do here? This morning, I went long on the video update. It's all, it was all, I was 11 minutes in. And I got long uh, down here, I think it was, um, when we came down to retest the lower bands. And um, basically, we had positive momentum on the hourly charts and the four hourly charts. So I was looking to be on the long side. And it ran up, took some profits off at the uh, the, the 8 a.m. pivot up here. And then it rolled back down. I, at that point, I think I still had my stop down at 62. So I was just, just kept in there. Um, and then when it got up to here, um, I thought I'm going off to the gym, moved my stop up to the low of this candle, this um, nice green candle here, because as it was looking at the time, uh, let's take it back, everything was looking, oops, fairly, oops, is it going to let me do it? Pretty positive at this point. Here we go. Um, so um, I'll just tuck my stop up nice and tight now. And, um, and what's it done? It's just edged me out and then it's gone up to uh, a little bit higher. Having said that, I, it wouldn't have hit my target because my target was up at 8880. Um, but maybe it will do later. I don't know. But um, but yes, an interesting one nevertheless. So, um, so that's why I ended up with £55. Pounds. But I'm seeing a, a separate trade setting up potentially on the euro dollar. So I'm just keeping my eye on that one. And if we do get a trade here, I'd like to get a, another trade off today, just the last li live trading day this side of Christmas. So I'm going to stop babbling on right now and press pause and see if we do get a trade. 
OK, well, the euro didn't quite get down to the level I was looking for. It was just a f uh, few pips below. It was the 15 minute 21, which was down about here, just below 45. So um, and now it's already had quite a big bounce, uh, a decent enough bounce now. So I'm going to leave it at that. So um, uh, with my amazing 55 pounds that I've made here today, I'm going to go and um, put some petrol in the car, I think. <laughs> anyway, but what we're going to do in, as we go into the new year is I'm going to go back to this sort of style of trading, going back to sort of doing on the Friday mornings, doing more more uh, smaller time frame day trading. Um, whereas of late I've just been you know a bit nonchalant with regards to the smaller time frames and just purely trading the bigger time frames which isn't as useful um, I, I guess for you when you're watching this um, when you're just seeing something which I might actually just be holding for days and days so I'm gonna go back to doing a bit more day trading for you as we go into the new year so with that um, I, I will do a video update on Monday um, more like more than likely because it's still gonna be some decent movement over the holiday period more, there often is so um, I'll see on Monday but if you're not around on Monday have a fabulous Christmas and a fabulous uh, new year I'll be back on the week commencing the 6th